okay guys let's get started uh, by creating a sales api course model schema so let's create a first file for cashier it's could be a cashier model.go file inside that we'll creating a struct for the model uh, the struct name type would be a cashier in the database the table name would be cashiers so singular and plural combination could be like that so there are three types in the struct first is the key second is the data types and third the json which could help us in re returning the query results and later when we querying the cashier database table so uh, there could be a name id and passcode and created data and updated data fields uh, is data type would be a time stamp so that's why it created a time dot time Uh, let's create other models uh, by copying from that so I have created other models as well these are the models which I have created for our application sales API and go <clears throat> so let's close all files and now creating a here before creation i will go to gorm.io and copy the installation file from there installation command and i will run that here the gorm orm will be installed in our applications we will use it in the db connection purpose so it will help us to communicate with the database so in the end we will creating a uh, mysql's uh, credential over there because it's a secrets things so everything which are secrets you will be used in the dot env file so here i have entered my sql db name sales api db and my sql user is i have created uh, amir and database uh, my sql password is amir so the db host could be 127.0.0.0.1 it is the default local host path so that's it in the config so in the next we will access that this configuration in the main.go file so before uh, accessing it here we will need a package uh, for go.env which will help us in accessing the environment variable so just copying from there and install it I have installed it so now going to access that variables so before accessing we will create a global variable DB which will uh, point us to the Gorham DB here I will write uh, go dot env dot load which will help us to load the environment variables and then accessing it os dot get env will help us to access that variables so with the key we will accessing it os dot get env first uh, it would be a string key and uh, like either uh, here mysql host db host db user db password and db name so just i am copying here now i have copied the connection string from the gorum site and i have just replaced it here uh, here in the user section i will provide person sign s with later we will uh, the person sign s means that we will passing variables over there uh, on the next uh, params so i will show you in uh, shortly fmt sprint f will give us accessibility to uh, uh, replace everything uh, with a person sign s uh, we will assess in the second arguments
so here I will passing that db user db user will replace first person sign s and db password will replace second person sign f which is quite closer to the tcp and uh, that's it for the connection and next here is the mysql error uh, so let's check either the driver is installed or not if not we will go into install it so let's verify it if you import that and still gives as error this means that it's not installed so let's get installed by uh, typing get, go get in the front of it and paste that and just enter that driver will be automatically installed so it's installed now get save the file the error will gone so in the next we will going to check either the connection has throw an error or not so for that purpose if error is not nil and we will panic uh, if uh, there is no error then we will uh, uh, check uh, the connection db so here db equals to the db uh, capital db is the gorum var and uh, the small db is the connection result so now let's check either it's working or not it throws in error because that sales api db is not created so let's create that db in a mysql database so i am using their xam server for that purpose and now i'm creating creating sales api db or now let's try you have checked that the db connection created successfully prompt message appears 